Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cruiser X, or welcome back to Cruiser X, your cruise prescription. And this is Cruise News. We've got a couple key stories for you today, and we've also got some big announcements. So make sure that you watch to the end of the video for those. First up, there's a new tax coming for cruisers. Like we all need more taxes, yet there is something on the horizon. If it passes, goes into effect on January 1st. And also, Icon of the Seas hasn't even launched yet, yet it had its first stowaway. So we'll cover that as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Roll the intro. All right, so you rolled it, right? Oh, come on, we talked about this. Honestly, when, when I do the thing, okay, that's when you roll it. We talked about this. Anyway, so the new cruise tax that's coming, it's from the ports of Cozumel and Costa Maya. And it's going to be a $5 per passenger charge that's collected at the time of reservation. Now, they estimate this is going to generate between 20 and $25 million annually. They say that 30% of the funds are going to be used for natural disasters. 70% of the funds will be used for tourism infrastructure. Now, here are a couple issues with it. First of all, they want the money paid at the time of reservation, $5 per passenger. So the cruise lines are going to have to collect this money. They're going to have to remit it. So that means they're going to charge a fee for that. So is it going to be $10 they're going to charge or is it going to be $50? I don't know. And then what happens if you cancel your reservation? If they have to pay the fee at the time of reservation, then is there a way for them to get it back? Or are they not going to refund you uh, that amount? I don't know. And then the other thing, too, is do you think this is going to be the only two ports? Are other ports going to see, well, if Mexico can do that? then we can charge. And if they're getting $5, maybe we can get $10. Is it going to also spill over into U.S. ports with the new tax? Nobody knows. So while $5 per person doesn't seem like a big deal, and I guess really in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't. But what are the ramifications of it? And how will that snowball down the road into other potential taxes? So this thing hasn't passed yet. Uh, it has to be voted on. If it does pass, then it goes into effect on January 1st, 2025. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. If more news comes out on this story, we'll jump in and we'll do another update for you. But right now, it's just a wait and see game. As always, please be sure to like this video, give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and most importantly, click the notification button so you know every time that we post a video. Now let's move on to Icon of the Seas, the newest ship rolling out from Royal Caribbean. She will have her maiden voyage in February of next year. There's another ship, the Utopia, right behind it. This will be the Icon class, as the name implies, and it will be the world's largest cruise ship. So it will be something to see. Now, even though it hasn't launched, like I mentioned, it already had its first stowaway. And let me just say this about stowaways. We all have to pay for our cruises, and we all know they're getting rather expensive. And it kind of irks me when I hear about stowaways trying to get a free ride on a cruise ship and not pay anything at all, whether it's a human being or this owl. Yes, that's correct. An owl was caught on Icon of the Seas. Apparently, it had made its home on a ship. At sea, many birds do land on, on ships, and they prefer the Oasis-class ships, apparently, because they have the Central Park, a lot of trees on board, and they can make a nice little nest for themselves. However, the owl was captured. It was treated humanely. It was given over to animal control, and they are taking care of it. So no harm was done to the owl. It is safe and sound. But... Even if you're an owl, no matter who you are, you shouldn't get a free ride on a cruise ship. Now for some updates. We have partnered with Where's Walter Travel as our travel partner to help us put together not only travel for all of our subscribers, but our next group cruise. And it's going to be the Panama Canal in 2025. I had a conference call with Walter yesterday. He put together a 
bunch of awesome itineraries. And right now we're trying to figure out which one would be the best one. It's going to be the first part of 2025. As soon as we confirm the exact cruise, we'll put the details on our website. We'll make sure that everybody knows. We would love to see you on a group cruise. I've been on some. If you haven't, it's a great experience. So make sure that you go to our website. Not only click on book a cruise, but make sure in the upper right, you click on subscribe. That'll put you on our newsletter and we'll keep you informed of all the happenings via the newsletter. So you'll make sure that you know what's going on. Well, that's it for this video. We will see you in the next video. Okay, you put up the website image, right? Oh, what?